Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Sean and I'm the Nerd Doctor here to diagnose what's wrong with your RPG game and here to help you fix it. But first, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons to allow me to keep coming out with the material you love to listen to. I've been looking forward to this video for weeks. This Today's video is inspired by Dark Matter, a 5E compatible sci-fi setting. The lore in this book is amazing and the sci-fi themed subclasses for all the traditional D&D subclasses are awesome. But like I keep saying, I think ICRPG is better Better than D&D for its simpler mechanics. As I mentioned in my first video, ICRPG is great across settings, which is why Dark Matter had to create a separate set of rules that took into account the differences between a fantasy setting and a sci-fi setting. ICRPG doesn't have to do that. There are optional rules for character creation across settings in the ICRPG, but beyond that, the rest is really consistent. Now, here's the kicker. I'm not in love with ICRPG warp shells. There I said it, something I don't love about ICRPG. This is purely a preference reason. If I didn't have the Dark Matter book, I'd probably love Warp Shell, but Warp Shell classes are based on a world without magic. Now, you can easily incorporate it, but what's so cool about Dark Matter is how they've incorporated magic into technology, like arcane batteries. Nearly all technology in Dark Matter stems from magic, which I think is such a unique perspective. ICRPG Warp Shell classes consist of the pilot, the navigator, the gunner, the mechanic, the echo, and the scientist. Now, if you're looking for a setting that's more science-y than magic, like Firefly, then this is right up your alley. But if you're like me and you like this setting of a sci-fi magic, then these classes aren't going to work. So I took it upon myself to create four kick-ass classes and three kick-ass subclasses inspired by the Dark Matter 5e book and the ICRPG Core 2nd Edition book and the Master Edition. The Dark Matter book separates your class from your ship role, whereas the ICRPG Master Edition seems to combine them. So for my version of characterization for the ICRPG sci-fi classes, is you'll choose your usual archetype and subtype and go through character creation as normal, but you'll also choose a starting ability related to your role on the ship, captain, pilot, engineer, or gunner. Dark Matter has a whole different combat system for ship combat where each role on the ship has its own actions it can take. Take the engineer, for example. The actions for the engineer include directing power, overcharge, system repair or void jump now directing power allows you to move power from the shields to the engines or weapons or vice versa making your ship faster or slower attacking more or less or making it harder or easier to hit these role actions are what make ship combat so interesting in dark matter but plenty of the story should take place outside the ship so what do you do as a pilot when you're not on the ship? This is where my class creation comes into play. As you hit milestones, you can get a class milestone or a ship roll milestone, which will help improve the actions you can take on or off the ship and be the most efficient space crew on or off the ship. I'll include a PDF below when I'm fully finished with it, but remember this is ICRPG. You can create your own archetype or subtype that I don't have. Ultimately, you decide what abilities you want to have as a character, but I hope this brings some inspiration for your own designs if you like it. So here they are. Number one, I have the tank, a fighter born to take and deal damage. The subtypes are the dreadnought, the demolitionist, and the wrecker. The dreadnought ability is to shrug off the hits it takes like they're nothing and has innate healing. The, the demolitionist uses explosive ammo and can ring empty gums to explode, turning them into grenades. And the Wrecker specializes in dealing damage to armor and inanimate, inanimate objects, which can be important in a universe full of machines. Number two, the Ronin, a specialist with weapons. The subtypes for the Ronin include the Sniper, the Gunslinger, and the Blade. All are pretty self-explanatory, though it would be a mistake to underestimate the Blade, in my opinion. Or if you have the burning desire to play a Jedi, this would be a great class to do it with. Number three, the Gadgeteer. 
what kind of sci-fi would it be without technological weapons? This ICRPG conversion is purely from dark matter. The subtypes of the gadgeteer are the drone jockey, the futurist, and the nanite host. The drone jockey can control a number of drones, each with a specific purpose, whether it's a defense drone, medic drone, or reconnaissance drone. The futurist replaces body parts with augments, trying to enhance their being with technology. A nanite host can use their nanites to hack or deconstruct or reconstruct targets. This is the perfect class to highlight that magic-based technology. Unlike a mage, the spells have to be incorporated into the technology they control. Number four, the mage. This isn't new. <laughs> you can use the Alfine class example from the Master's Edition because a pure magic user is going to be the same no matter what setting you're using. The only difference is the source of the magic. What I did do, though, is find a bunch of technology-based spells from the Dark Matter book and convert them into ICRPG-based rules. So these magic users have something unique for the setting. Dark Matter also has a bunch of spells called what are mega spells, because let's face it, shooting at a ship and shooting at a person isn't going to do the same amount of damage, especially when all technology is magic based. Dark Matter uses a hundred to one scale, while RCRPG just cuts the damage in half, being chunk damage or normal damage when you know you attack people or vehicles. It all bounces out though because ICRPG uses far less dice. So when using a mega spell, it will just deal normal normal chunk damage to a vehicle while a regular spell would deal half. However, mega spells cannot be cast inside a gravitational field. So the larger they are, the harder it is to contain the magic, which is why in a in dark matter the arcane cannon was invented. This cannon allows you to cast spells into the vacuum of space and can even turn regular spells into mega spells with the right upgrades. And then we come to number five, the priest. I also made no changes to the priest from the Alfheim classes because, again, this is a spell caster based class. You can make small changes to this with little effort to get the sci fi feel. Though for the monk, Dark Matter has a way of gravity monk subclass, which I think is a really cool inspiration. I, you know, when I first got the book, I created a way of Dark Matter, a way of gravity monk because I was just, I loved it. I, I, I did, you know, homebrew the rules because I, I, I felt that, you know, similar to the way of Elements Monk, it felt a little underwhelming. But uh, but in ICRPG, you don't have to worry about that because you, 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 when you're designing your character, you know, you create your guidelines to make it uh, simple, effective, and, uh, and fun to play with. But, uh, you know, the lap that brings us to the last one, the Echo. This one may sound familiar as it was one of the classes already listed in the Master's Edition. By all means, you can use the one that is already in the book, but I wanted a rogue type feel for this one. The subclasses for the Echo I made are the Blip, the Ghost, which are from the second edition and I think is in the Master's Edition too, but I, I changed the rules a little bit. And then the Hacker. The Blip ability is to be able to teleport within a certain distance when using their movement. The Ghost can alter their form and make copies of themselves. And the Hacker is a stealth expert who is excellent at, you guessed it, hacking so once again though that's it you know uh, these are just ideas and basic concepts if you want to check out my inspiration for them i'll include a link to the dark matter book below if you like to play 5e you'll love it and if you don't the lore and ideas in this book are still well worth the price in my opinion thanks again for listening don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave any comments about feedback and any material you'd like to hear me talk more about in the future Again, I'm Dr. Sean, and I'm the Nerd Doctor, here to diagnose what's wrong with your RPG game and here to help you fix it.